What would it have taken to beat KD's Warriors when KD was there? Those I don't mean like his team. I mean like the Warriors teams with KD. I want to be clear because I know Steph stands are very sensitive. Yeah, they, the Warriors teams when Kevin Durant was <laughs> on the team. Sorry, I misspoke. Steph's team. Okay, guys. Steph's team. Sorry. <laughs> They are serious about that though. For They're real. so serious about They're it. Serious. Like serious. it's nuts. Oh, <laughs> uh, honestly, for us, I, I mean, at that point, if you add like a Devin Booker or something on our team, <laughs> like I don't know. Like when you sit here look at it, like you got three. Le- I mean, four Hall of Famers. I say three legit because people question Draymond. Draymond will be in the Hall of Fame, I th- but I, I know what you're saying too. It's like we we're basketball players, and right. we were like offensive basketball players. Yeah, I'm, and so you think immediately of Clay, Steph, and Katie. I get it. It right. wasn't a knock on you. Right. And you, you see those guys on the, around the wing. It's just like, all right, well, we can't double him. And we sure enough can't double him. And we can't leave this guy just butt naked open. Hey, look, man, we're going to play hard, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Are there any specific moments, memories in 16 after you go down 3-1? in the locker room, in the days after leading up to game five? Like, are, is there anything that stands out about that time period, final buzzer, up to game five? Up to game five, I think James Jones and Mike Miller. Like, they really, like, I feel like it was more their doing. They were like the fairy godparents of the team. <laughs> like, they were more, like, pulling guys aside. Like, listen, like, give, doing things that coaches wouldn't do. You know, like putting guys in check in certain, like, listen, bro, I need you here. It's not like certain coaches just feel like they can't talk to certain players or how you got to, how you have to talk to a certain player type. Like they, they, they already knew that, but they were more in a sense of like putting that fire up on you. They did it with Kev. They did it with Kai. Uh, they did it with, they did it to an extent with Bron because you really don't have to do too much with Bron because he sees the game as it is. Um, they definitely they did it with me game seven at halftime. Um, they did it with Shump. It was like it was literally like watching like two old guys come around, walk around the locker room, and just pick our spirits up. And you literally seeing people's whole emotions change after conversations. It was just like okay, he came in, barely spoke to anybody, head down, like just, and then we're ready to go shoot around. He just yeah, let's go. Like I'm sitting there like. Kai, I never see you switch like that. Like, you good? Is everything all right? What, what just happened? Shump, you all right? Like, what's... Okay, let's go. Uh, in it's ga- vets, man. It's vets. vets. You need it's, vets. In, ga- in game six, when Kai and Ron were going crazy, are, are you guys just like, let's just like get get them the ball and get the fuck out of the way? That was, that was my mode anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, tell, I used to tell Kai all the time, I said, bro, I know you want to score. Don't worry about passing me the ball. Don't worry about getting me shots. The shots will find me. Do what you do. Short sure, sure enough, a little five, six, seven straight. Like, with Bron on the court. And it's like, it's so many times I've seen him make, and it's hard to make, not, not say make Bron look small, but like, the things that he would do is like, you would think Bron was on the bench. The way he's scoring, the way he's just like going nuts. We played a San Antonio game. He had 55 on Tony Parker. Oh my God. I forgot Brown was on the court, literally. Like he was going literally. Didn't Braun have a big game that game too? Didn't Braun, Braun had, a, had a high scoring game? I think as he well. had a triple double or yeah, like yeah. something like he probably had like a low 30 something. But yeah. like when you when you got this young dude, this not a young dude, but like this little dude who's 6'1, but like scoring. Effortlessly, left hand, right hand, mid range, pull up, free throws, threes, like post up. I'm like, this, that was amazing. It's king shit. Yeah. It really is. No, um, seriously. The decision to not wear a shirt <laughs> was it just a matter of comfort? Was it the time of the year? Was it warm? It was definitely the time of the year. <laughs> it, was, it was the time of the year. And um, I remember Rasheed Wallace told me this. We, I was with the Knicks. He's like, hey, Swish, man. Well, we won in we won in Detroit. We partied at the at the palace all night. I'm like, really? All night? He said, man, we had it going. I'm like, okay. I'm like, wait a minute. 
y'all never left? He's like, nah. I was like, what was you wearing? He's like, dude, I wore my uniform. <laughs> I had the tape on and everything all night. I'm sitting there like, you had your, like, bro, I'm I'm not I'm not wearing no shirt if I if I want to chip. I'm not wearing damn near nothing. And obviously, you know, I'd have, I'd have got a few calls and been behind the bars a few times if I wasn't, but I just figured I'd take the shirt off. My favorite part about that is this the stopover. You know, the stopover in Vegas. Oh, the stopover in Vegas. You guys were there, what, 24 hours? No, we were there like 10? Six hours. Six hours. <laughs> it's so funny. It, it's so funny because like we're sitting here like go, as the game is going on, we're looking like I think it was Dante. Dante's like, yo, we win, we go to Vegas. I'm sitting here like, who's thinking about that right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> this is during the game. He's like, yo, we, we win, we go to Vegas. I'm like, what? <laughs> hey, bro, we, like this is the biggest game of my life. What are you talking about? But I tell you what, thing, Vegas was a ball. Oh man. I didn't think we were going to, I didn't think we were going to actually make it because, you know, winning the chip, like you don't leave the actual arena till late, late as hell. And, but I think the game was kind of early that day. actually it was Father's Day game. So it was kind of an early game on, especially being West Coast. But when I, when I tell you, we got to Vegas and like, I don't know what they did, but it felt like they hit the green light in the back and then it, like, Bottles, girls, it started going crazy out of nowhere. Like it's like they knew we were coming, but like I feel like the crowd knew we were coming because like when when we walked in, every, of course everybody parts the Red Sea. They see Bron is just like yeah. and he's just like part of the Beatles, literally. We hope you had fun with us today. We hope you laughed. <laughs> we hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.